Hey guys, it's Heather from Kelo of Plan, and last week, if you missed it, I shared a flip through of the new homeschool teacher um, or homeschool expansion pack from the Happy Planner. And we went through all the different sections and all of that, and I shared different ways that I would use it. Well, one thing that I mentioned was that this would be a really cool layout to use for social media. So I know it's meant for homeschooling, but I like to get creative and use things in different ways. So I'm going to show you guys how I would set this up for a social media planner. And I'm going to set it up for this week. I'm not using it this week, um, but I just want to show you guys how I would do it just to give you guys some ideas if you love this expansion pack, but maybe you don't homeschool or maybe you bought it for homeschool and you don't think it's actually going to work. Um, there are ways to manipulate it. Now, if you don't need a social media planner, like I have to have one because I have my Etsy shop, Patreon, YouTube, Instagram, um, my Facebook group for Patreon. Like I have so many different social media things going on that I have to have a social media planner or I would go crazy, but not everybody needs a social media planner. And if that's you, then I would suggest just kind of watching this video and taking some ideas on how you can make manipulate different layouts to make them work for you. So the first thing that I did, of course, was date it using the stickers that it came with. And then the next thing that I want to do is I'm going to use these little banners right here and I'm going to cover them. Um, I'm going to cover the sections that need to be covered. Like here, I don't have projects. So maybe I take this and I cover up where it says projects. And now I can redate this or rename this section for whatever I want. The week ahead, that actually works fine for me. Here I have action steps. I don't necessarily need that to say action steps. So I could take this and cover it. And then I can retitle that to be whatever I want. Key points to cover. I'm not teaching anything. Well, I guess I am teaching in some YouTube videos. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say put this here. Now it's, you can see it doesn't go all the way. So I'm going to take my X-Acto knife and I'm actually going to cut this one that matches in color, cut the pointed end, and then I can line it up. And now it just looks like one long box. Now, since I have these, and honestly, I think I want to do the same thing over here. It kind of bothers me that this one has that arrow on the end because I'm not going to use the arrow. So I'm going to grab my scissors, trim that arrow off. Okay, I actually love that those don't have the arrow. So I'm going to go ahead and come over here, cut the arrow off. I like that so much better. Now I can label these each for whatever I need them to be. So like maybe right here, let me grab, where's the black pen I was using? Here we go. So maybe these to-do lists, I could have this be for Patreon. And I could write my to-dos for Patreon right here. Then maybe right here, this is my Etsy. And I could list my Etsy to-dos right here. And then maybe right here, this could be my filming schedule. For what I need to film each week. So now I have these three down here. And then this can help me plan the week ahead. Now over here, um, this one that says activities, I don't want that to say activities. So I'm actually going to take this one that's the same color and I'm just going to lay it down. And now it's my top three things just by covering it. So then I could just say priorities. Okay. 
Okay, weekly focus, I can leave that as it is. Don't forget, I can leave that as it is. Up here says important assignments. I don't really want it to say important assignments. So I'm just gonna take this sticker that matches and I'm gonna lay it down. And then I could just put like a cute quote up here. Now, I have these rows that I can decide how I wanna use them. So up here I could write YouTube and I could write my video for the day all the way across. Here I could put Instagram. Okay, and plan those out all the way across. Here I could write collabs. This is like when I'm working with different companies, just reminders of what I need to do. And then here I can just put other. And this is where I can write my daily to do's. Now I do need this to extend over um, for YouTube and Instagram because I do have post so I could just extend those and then I pulled this out I would love if it has a double sticker to put right here says living my best life we could cover up the space just like that and then we'll pull out the floral book could do right here is we could just put a sticker like that and just totally cover that up and just let that be a decorative spot. I can put my YouTube videos every day across. I could put schedule my Instagram posts every day across. Here I have collabs and other to do during the week, but I blocked it off for the weekend. I have a section for every other thing I have going on and it's like perfect. Like I love this layout for social media. Um, it's meant for homeschooling, but I made it work for me. So if you bought this expansion pack and you realize that maybe it's not going to work for your homeschooling needs, um, don't be afraid to mix it up like this and change it around and make it work for you or use it for something totally different. I don't homeschool. I don't have any kids, but, um, I just made this layout work for me and I actually love it. So I hope this video at least inspires you to make your spreads work for you. I had a lot of fun creating it. If you like this video, I hope you hit the like button. If you want to see more of my videos, hit that subscribe button and happy planning.